everybody, welcome. So glad you guys are with us. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're doing our tone featured recipe of the month, our tone seasoning. They're, they're such good folks, they're so good to us. We're doing a nice romaine salad, garden salad with romaine lettuce. We have orange marmalade dressing that's gonna go with that. I am searing a nice piece of Saku tuna. Man, it's gonna be nice. We're gonna leave it kind of medium rare and slice it and put it on top. We're doing a Red Riley for our drink today. You guys, man, it's so good. I'm anxious. So you guys, come on, we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna get busy. We gotta get started on our salad. So let's, let's rock and let's get in the kitchen. This is cooking today. Hey guys, welcome into cooking today. It's a beautiful day. We are doing a really nice dish. Each month I will do a featured dish from our sponsors, Tones and Tyson. And today we're gonna do our Tones recipe. It is gonna be a really beautiful salad. And we're gonna add some orange marmalade. We're gonna add some, uh, a lot of cool stuff, but we're gonna, we're gonna finish it off with a beautiful piece of tuna. And I have some really nice tuna steaks here that we're going to season up real well and the reason I wanted to do this recipe this way I thought it would work out really good and I, I think it's going to be good I have my tones my lemon pepper spice blend they do a great job with these I mean awesome job with the blends that they have there, there are a bunch of them but today we're going to use the lemon pepper and we are going to generously season our tuna and this is sashimi grade tuna you could eat it raw you could cut you off a, a nice section of it and eat it raw it's not going to hurt you um, really do really really good piece of fish and we're going to sear it just raw what we're going to do is sear it and we're going to chill it out and, and and use it cold on top of our salad so I've got them all seasoned up and just make sure you cover the whole thing both sides of it and we may put a little bit more on the top side once we get this in our pan we'll take our saku and go right to our hot oil and we got a good sear going on we'll take our other block And go right in our oil. Just move enough oil around so that you don't sit it right on the bottom. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna grab a pair of tongs here so I can work with this. We'll move this out of the way. We don't need that anymore. And I have a plate all set up here. This one has just a dry towel on it, a dry cloth so we can let our tuna chill out once we get it out of the pan. But we don't want, we don't want done on this. We want medium rare. And it smells so good. The, the spicing on there, the lemon pepper just smells awesome. And I want you guys to look at that. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna pick this up so you guys can see just how beautiful that looks. You see that? Mm -mm -mm. So good. Those bad boys are looking good. We're gonna let those go just one more second. We'll get our plate set up here. And the reason why I'm gonna go as fast as I can with this, I wanna get them out of here as soon as possible because we really want a medium rare. I'm going to slice it up and put it on top of our salad. So we want to just take them out 
And I'll say that a billion times. We want to let them chillax or calm down or chill out. So we're going to get them cold and let them go. You guys, we're going to come right back and we're going to make our nice salad. We're going to make our beautiful salad and dressing. So stick around. You know, hang with me. We'll be right back. It's real important to have a good hot pan. A good, I mean, your, pan, your oil should be right at the smoke point when you're ready to sear your tuna. <sighs> Tones. They do such a great job with the blends. The lemon pepper is a great, great little crust that we put on the outside of this seared tuna. And man, we, we let it cool off and we're just gonna slice it up thin to go on top of our salad. Man, you guys are gonna enjoy this. Man, I love fresh romaine. I love to tear my lettuce and, and use, use good lettuces in a salad. Cucumbers, oh good crispy, nice tomatoes in the salad, and man, the orange marmalade, it's a vinaigrette that we made homemade with just red wine vinegar, super simple ingredients. Just shows you what you can get out of something so simple. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna keep on going here. We're gonna, we have our beautiful tuna all done. We're gonna make our salad dressing, and we're gonna start with our orange marmalade. And I'm gonna put in, you know, a couple of good tablespoons of our marmalade. I'm gonna add some Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon of that, okay? Then we're gonna just put in some red wine vinegar. Gotta have good vinegar in your salad dressing. About a quarter of a cup. I'm going to add a splash or two of Worcestershire, a tablespoon or so, just for a little extra love in there. Okay. And I'm going to stress salt and pepper, always, 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 especially if you use the good Tones grinders. These babies work so good. Can't say enough about that. Okay. I'm going to use the towel trick. We'll stick our damp towel down on the board. That way that our bowl doesn't move at all. We'll sneak back here, get us a nice whisk. Okay, and we're gonna start the drizzle process with our salad dressing. Okay, we're just gonna make our nice emulsion, start adding our olive oil to it slowly. Just like that. Almost had a drum beat going there for a second. Super simple, just a few whisks and you're done. Oh, that tastes good. All right, check me out now. What I'm gonna do is take our romaine and we'll just tear the tops off of it. I'm gonna bring a bowl in here too. That way we're all set up, okay? And I'm gonna take our romaine and just tear. We'll just tear our greens right off. You could use a knife if you want to. I was taught you always tear lettuce. You rip it, you don't, you don't cut it. Okay, and I'm gonna add some other cool stuff right into that. This is uh, organic kale. We're gonna add to it. I have some uh, micro bull's blood just many, just these beautiful little microgreens that'll give our salad some cool color, okay? We'll also add some good micro mescaline greens right to it. Doesn't that look great? All right, let me grab my knife over here. Because we gotta add a few other things to it. I'm gonna add some tomatoes, just a few slices. And these are pretty ripe. You want to make sure you have some good ripe tomatoes going on. And we're going to just kind of make it decorative in our salad. We want to make sure we save enough room for our, our tuna. Okay, and then I have some seedless cucumber. We'll add to it just some pretty slices. Not too much. And we'll add our cucumbers. We'll put those over here in this corner just to separate it, makes it look nice. 
And I have some red onion that I've already skinned and julienned. We're going to add those to there as well. Okay, look at that. That looks great, you guys. That is so good. Okay, and then I'm going to add just the tops from some fresh parsley right there. And I'm going to save a little bit for when we add our, our beautiful tuna. And it's all cooled off and ready to go there. And I'm going to get just my little utility knife here and my steel. And I always put the steel where the handle's up. It's easier for me on that 20 degree angle just to get that knife honed. Okay, because we want to be able to go right through our tuna just like that. And I want you guys to see how beautiful that looks. Look at that. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take and just do some really good slices of our tuna. And the sauce, so I mean, it's. It is sushi grade, sashimi grade, so you can eat it raw. And we'll take the half, half of one of these bad boys. And what I will do with it is take it to our salad right here. And I will just fan it out across the top of that salad. Just like that. Oh my goodness gracious. That looks so good. Then. The last thing I need to do is add this beautiful orange dressing right to it. What do you guys think of that right there? Look at that. Just a little fresh garnish on top. I think your guests will love this dish. You guys, this is made with so much love right here. I can't believe it. When we come back, we're going to show you a really cool drink that's going to pair perfectly with this seared tuna. You guys, stay with me. We'll be right back.